Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your May 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading Sagittarius and pull your overarching oracle for the month. Probably from probably will resonate from now to the end of May because I am releasing these a little bit early. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Okay, there's the first card. Oh, we have accepting what, what is. I accept and embrace my inner majesty. It's interesting because we have the white rose in the center, which is a card of purity, cleansing, catharsis, and seeing the beauty of life again. You know, when you cleanse, release. Um, this is almost kind of like being open to receive that beautiful energy. Things beginning to bloom and grow once more. Feels lovely energy. But there's definitely an energy of accept <clears throat> Pardon me, acceptance. <laughs> I had a frog in my throat then. Okay. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please? I've probably been talking too much, know me. <laughs> what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Sagittarians. Thank you. Oh, we have within the next few weeks. Let's pull another card with that. I feel let's, let's get some additional advice for that. What do we have within the next few weeks, angels, spirits, guides? What do we have... Oh, okay, I've got romance. Something is becoming, beginning to bloom. Now with this, this is a kind of cleansing energy as well, accepting, releasing. Um, but seeing the beauty, absolutely, again. So there's definitely an energy here of, within the next few weeks, something lovely, it feels um but some form of release going on there as well let's pull some cards so i pull four cards sagittarius as you know by now roughly works out as one card per week though divine timing and all that people are at different life stages the energies may overlap but the message remains the same and then we clarify go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you Okay, what do we have for our lovely Sagittarians, please? Oh, okay, first card is out, Page of Swords. Two of Wands, and it's Fire Energy, which is your element, very nice. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> very nice, okay, and I like it coming towards the end of your reading too. Um, feels like things are building up here. Things are building up. That's definitely what I'm getting. Something's building up. Now we have the Two of Wands again. And that's at the beginning. Oh, I've pulled two cards here. Interesting. I've got the Five of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, lovely energy. And um, bottom of the deck, oh, one more card. Wheel of Fortune is clarified with the Hanging Man. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles. So it's interesting that we've got romance here because there's a lot of kind of like monetary coins in this reading but you know pentacles can be to do with our foundational relationships the people we build our lives around can be to do with our money and career our home our property our health so the first week there is definitely some clarity coming your way some way that you might be looking at things more clearly and being ready to make some decisions or choices you know this can be crossroads energy the two of wands but i'm it's, it's an energy of i'm taking my world in my hands and i am making some decisions and choices about my future because now is the time 
I've got the clarity, you know, I'm definitely ready to make some choices here. I'm ready to look ahead as well. I'm ready to plan my future. Because for some of you, there has been something or someone that has been difficult to move on from. And there is an energy of, I'm ready. I'm full of anticipation. I am feeling the fire and the spark again about what can come my way now in the future. You know, we see the kind of like the blooming energy of the lily and the flowers there. Um, there's definitely an energy of I'm ready for that new abundance. I'm ready for um, the new. I'm ready to, to look into my future and, it, you know, embrace all possibilities coming my way. It's a great anticipating energy of progress and all of a sudden seeing things with crystal clear clarity and being ready to cut cords with the past. And it feels that that wind of change, the sort is to do with the mind, our perspective, our communication, our thought patterns, how we perceive something. And something that may have clouded your judgment for a period of time, all of a sudden there is the lucidity coming of, yeah, I am just ready for the beginnings of new, the beginnings of change, and to cut cords where I need to. You know, it feels that kind of energy here. There's a wonderful kind of curiosity, an innocent curiosity about the, the pages um, you know they're not as experienced as the king or queens so there's a lovely energy here of I'm just ready again there's a cleansing that's been going on here and I definitely felt that here there is a release there's an acceptance and an anticipating energy for the future feels lovely you know king of pentacles yes this can be in terms of money and career this can also be, and it can be somebody, it can be a leader, somebody in business, um, can also be to do with head of household energy, male or female energy with the King of Pentacles because it's a general reading. It can be a Taurus for me as a reader, though not limited to that, obviously. The King of Pentacles is somebody who offers stability, security, success, safety, you know, so, and abundance, you know, he understands how to make money. He understands how to provide financially, you know, for himself, for his family, people he cares about. Uh, the practical resources and be very successful so either in business or love it feels that there has been some loss or regret here and it's been it, it feels in this situation you know you can't change the past and that's what the five of cups is saying you cannot change the past however things are full of hope and opportunity in your present and it's time to take that black cloak off and replace it with the red one of inspiration and action one looks black, one, one looks back where the emotions own you, where the emotions keep you stuck in what's gone on in the past. Um, but there's definitely an energy here, Sagittarius, of you finding your fire again. And anything that may have got you down in whatever context, this is I am ready to really look to my future now, make the choices I need to, the decisions, and anticipate where I want to go. I'm ready to step into the unknown. It feels right. I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to turn my back on, you know, that period of my life that has caused some kind of emotional imbalance and disruption, but I'm ready to move on from that now. I'm looking ahead. And it's like you're taking control Aries energy, Mars in Aries, you know? So you are taking control of your world once more after something controlled you. Emotionally. Because it kept you looking back. It kept you feeling down. So there's definitely an energy of, I'm ready for growth now. Now, there is such hard work. Some of you, there is definitely material gain here. Um, the Eight of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles is, you know, these are abundant energies. So, you know, money career-wise, certainly with the Wheel of Fortune, you know, the hard work is going to be rewarded. You know, the energy that you put out to the universe, how you focus, how you use your practical skills, abilities, time and effort is going to be rewarded here. So very, very good in terms of money and career. 
we see the bountifulness of the grapes, the harvest. You know, there's definitely an energy with the nine of pentacles of self self-sufficiency. I am my own hero. I am able to stand in my own success, in my own right. By my hard work and effort, I can take care of myself. I can provide financially for myself. I understand that if I work through a situation, I will stand in my self-worth and self-esteem as well, in my own abundance. Feeling pretty good with the Nine of Pentacles. It's hard work, but this for me is also a healing energy. When we focus on working through a situation, if it's not just money and career, if it's to do with other areas in terms of how you move on, there's definitely an energy of, you know, um, standing in your own success, self-worth, self-esteem and feeling pretty good about it. I'm okay being on my own. I'm feeling abundant on my own. You know, whatever this was... If it was to do with um, changes in terms of money, career, finance, there is definitely getting back on track here. If there, is, if this was to do with relationships, there's definitely an energy of working through it and being okay in your own independent right. Self-sufficient energy here. So I love the energy. The message is just go at your own pace. Do the things that you need to do to work through a situation. Focus on the positive, practical things that you can do and you will be rewarded by the universe in turn. The Wheel of Fortune rewards energy, where we put our energy, time and effort, you know. Uh, you know, there's definitely an energy of the hard work, the focus, the determination. It's bringing material gain, but it's also allowing you to, it's also allowing you to feel and stand in your own right. And this is good luck, good fortune, you know. Obstacles are removed with the Wheel of Fortune. Divine timing. And it's definitely the wheel is turning in your favour. Things are opening up for you. Opportunity, connections, uh, people, conversations. Um, very good in terms of money, career and abundance as well. It is an expansive energy. Things are opening up. Um, and it's destiny. It is absolutely to do with your destiny. So it's a lovely, lovely energy here, Sagittarius. And this is your ruler. Jupiter. So this is you feeling more in your element than ever, you know, because the steps that you've been taking here, it definitely feels in this situation, you are ready to, you know, open up to new possibilities. This is also about the experience and higher understanding that you've learned on past journeys and how you're refocusing your energy and time into really putting your effort in what is going to bring you gain and growth now in all areas and value you know on what you place your value on now what you place your beliefs on now what you place your time and effort on now what's worth your energy and time and what's not you know it's that kind of energy and I'm definitely feeling you know this wheel of fortune is just turning in your favor because you are absolutely focusing on the things that you can do to productively be self-sufficient, how your own self-esteem, self-worth. This can be an independent energy, but it's also a card of success. The hanged man energy is, it can be a period of things need to play out. Um, the hanged man energy can be a card also in terms of look at something in a different way, new perspectives. It's also a card of letting go. So there's definitely an energy here of surrender. Surrender. Um, sacrifice as well. You know, whatever this was with the Five of Cups, this is, there's definitely an energy of surrender because the good things are coming into your life. And that's definitely what I'm seeing here now. Um, you're being enlightened here with the Hanged Man. This is light bulb moments, eureka moments. Um, Inspir inspirational moments where you're seeing you're separating what is illusion from reality you know the cloud from the blue sky you know you're getting some kind of perspective illumination and I definitely feel in this energy there is definitely an energy of, of surrender what's gone because there's good fortune good luck coming your way and I love that it's your ruler 
Four of Pentacles is somebody who feels, you know, sometimes this can be about holding on, but I'm not getting this energy. The Four of Pentacles is actually, the Fours are all about stability in Tarot. Um, they're stabilizing energies. And where we've had a five, interestingly enough, with what is a stabilizing energy, the King of Pentacles, and a five is, is a disruptive, instable energy. This is where you're getting stability back in your own worth, in your own esteem, in your own value, in what's important to you now. It just feels like there's a new level of stability coming your way. Uh, it feels very beautiful here, Sagittarius, I have to say. Um, for some of you, like I said, I mean, there could be romance coming, but the cards aren't really focusing on that this for this month. Let's see what else we get. Any other advice for Sagittarius? It might well be that you're accepting what is in romance within the next few weeks and there is the change, you know? It might well be that, you know, it is reading it in that way as well for some of you, That if that's what the Five of Cups refers to in your situation. So any other advice for Sagittarius, please, before we pull the final Oracle card? Any other advice for Sagittarius, please, before we pull the final Oracle card, please? I'll do a couple more shuffles, and if it doesn't fall out, I'll choose the card. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Maybe. <laughs> As I said that, Sagittarius, the cards fell out. We have the Knight of Cups, somebody expressing their feelings of love for you, and we have love. The Lovers card of Gemini could be a Gemini. Um, we've got Pisces here as well. We've got new love here, Pisces. We've got new love here, uh, Sagittarius. Like I said, it could be with a Pisces. I've said that twice now. So, you know, lovers can be a choice or a decision, but it definitely feels in this situation that this is two souls coming together. And they're not necessarily like-minded souls, but what they do is they complement each other perfectly. You know, they fit like a jigsaw. So this is a lovely, lovely energy of complementary energies, complementary people, complementary souls coming together. And it feels to do with some of you. I mean, the night is technically an offer of love. Uh, somebody expressing love, feelings, that's you or somebody else to you. But it feels like Archangel Raphael to do with health and um, healing. There is definitely some kind of union being formed here. So there you go. That's the romance. <laughs> See, they hear me and they just answer. So I'm going to pull a final card. Final card for Sagittarius. Thank you. That was interesting. <laughs> you know, this might be practical advice to go outside. It might well be because there's somebody that you're going to meet, by the way. Um, go outside. It's time to go outside. Tune into the powerful piece of nature wherever you are and feel at one with your habitat. Interesting. I'm going to pull one more. Oh my goodness, this is so two of wands energy, and I've got that twice. So we have the magical gateway. It takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown, and yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. Wow. There's definitely an energy of step forward, don't look back. Not like that five of cups, because there's definitely this change of... I'm cutting cords, I'm done with it. Very nice energy, Sagittarius. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.